What up, YouTube? Um, Ken Inga here, just bringing y'all another deck. Um, what a better way to wrap up Halloween night. And uh, November 1st, really, because I'm really posting this deck kind of late. Is um, with a deck that has to do with evil. Um, one of my top five favorite archetypes, Elemental Heroes, have a side that most people really didn't explore because they weren't too broke really. The evil heroes that were introduced around I would say I think it was Gladiator's Assault the evil heroes that came out in that set um, they all have some interesting interesting fusions with uh, pretty good effects but um, because of them not being so broke or broke or probably just hyped up at the time when they were released really didn't gain them popularity so they just been kind of there and never really doing anything but um, I tried my best to build a deck impromptu of course but um, just to give them a little homage this deck will probably never win maybe it might take a locals if I get super lucky and duel like the terrible people um, or like really give it a facelift and um, give it a very very good sideboard maybe I could take a local maybe I doubt it but it'll never go higher than that this is mainly just for fun and I hope you guys like it just to wrap up this Halloween night and of course I will have your contest results now that it's over today is officially November 1st and I will have the results for the contest I didn't get a big showing as I thought I was gonna get in the past contests that I've had, I've had probably about maybe 50, 60 people enter. This one time, I think I only had like 19 or 20. So you guys have a really good chance of getting some stuff. And plus, I am throwing on a couple of extra prizes in there. So we'll probably have about 7, 8 winners. Um, but for the meanwhile, hope you guys enjoy the deck and check it out. Alright, as all hero decks start out... You got one elemental hero, Stratos. Of course, this guy is pretty good. Let's you search your deck for any elemental hero and or evil hero or destiny hero, which is pretty nice. Your Sparkman, because he gets some of the more interesting fusions. Avion, as well, gets you the fusions. Burstinatrix. Those are pretty much the stables. You really don't need the Clayman. But probably extra uh, copies of Sparkman is probably favorable. Um, one copy of Elemental Hero Neos. Um, he's in there for the lulls, really. And um, just for some couple of really cool tricks that you can pull off with like some of the last cards of the deck. And um, he's an Elemental Hero, so yeah, whatever. I just put him in there. Two Elemental Hero Malicious Edge. He just looks cool. And if your opponent controls a monster at any time, even if you control one as well, you can tribute summon this monster with one less tribute and he has piercing damage which is pretty sweet um... evil hero infernal gainer you pretty much pull these out whenever you have your elemental evil heroes and uh... you just remove them from play he lets your fiend type monster whichever fiend type monster you choose so you can even use these with like dark worlds and stuff or even um... what is it fables and it gains that one targeted fiend monster to be able to attack twice during each and every uh, battle phase it's permanent as long as it's face up I don't know what happens if it gets booked face down and this guy comes back after the second standby phase after you've tributed you remove it from play two standby phases later he comes back and you can do it again um, he's really an underrated card and he's pretty cool he's a good idea um, one diamond dude of course, you got to run the the Destiny Heroes in here for the drawing engine. Got your Fearmonger and two Destiny Hero Malicious. We got two King of the Swamp. We really don't revolve around polymerization all that much, but you do have one copy in this deck, which I'll come up to later. He pretty much serves as fusion materials. Um, two Deep Sea Divas, so you can do some cool sinking. She's water. She's a two-star tuner. There's no reason not to have her. One Lost Blue Breaker just for some back row killing. And of course you can, you've got some level 4 monsters in here so you can go Diva, get this guy out, go Trishula, which is pretty cool. Um, 
three legendary jujitsu masters. He's not only in here just for the giant 1800 defense and for the flipping of your opponent's card, but he's also a rock. So you can use him with your dark fusions to get, uh, what is it, evil hero dark Gaia, which is really good. You just fuse him and a um, fiend type monster. Last monster in the deck line or in the monster lineup is Gigantes. Just remove an earth. He comes out from a special summon. Um, if he's ever destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, he just straight up destroys all spells and traps on the field. So he's he's like a walking heavy storm, essentially. And he's also rock, so you can fuse him with Dark Fusion. And speaking of Dark Fusion, two copies of Dark Fusion, just choose him from your hand or from the field, and special summon the corresponding evil hero monster. To keep the uh, monster cards flowing, you got three emergency calls. So they're pretty much these are pretty much monsters in disguise, really. Another monster in disguise, Rhoda, reinforcement of the army. Two destiny hero or two destiny draw. My bad. It's here typical draw engine. One future fusion. One miracle fusion, of course. Card is very good one polymerization you do run some normal elemental heroes in here just because of the um, the tight space in the extra deck really limits your options um, one monster reborn your stables heavy storm dark hole your mind control you'd like to take control of your opponents tuners uh, monsters of equal level so you can exceed things like that very good card heck maybe even fiends or uh, other rocks that your opponent may have. Fiends more prominently because of the uh, Dark Worlds. And last but not least, this is the reason why I had or included Elemental Hero Neos, was for the Hero Blast. You could just target one Elemental Hero, normal monster, mon monster in the grave, to destroy one corresponding monster with the same or less than attack of the monster you choose and add it to your hand. Um, pretty cool. You can get you can choose Elemental Hero Neos, destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field that's, you know, 2500 points or less in attack. And it's just a pretty cool trick, you know. And plus, you run the Deep Sea Diva so you can go for a Bryanak, pitch it, Hero Blast, get it back, and destroy their monster. It's pretty cool. It's just a cool little idea. And of course, you got your other corresponding um, normal monsters. Those are the last traps. Like I said, it's just a deck for fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy the evil heroes. Here's the extra deck that I put together for it. You got your Lever, your Trishula, Stardust, Black Rose, and Bryanac. Those are your Synchros. Your evil heroes, you got the Dark Gaia. You got the Wild Cyclone. You got the Inferno Wing. And the Sniper. Of course, just all really cool. If you don't know what they do, just look them up. Um, they're very easy to find and very cheap to get as well. Um, the basic elemental heroes, the Vision Hero Trinity, pretty cool. It just takes three hero monsters, any hero monsters. Um, your Flame Wingman, Shining, one copy of Wild Tornado, and two Absolute Zero, which is always great, just to regeck your opponent's field. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.